Welcome to our one to videos. We are going to show you how to create a specific process color, also called device color build, in R1 color library with R1 print standardizer, the R1 print assessment, calibration and standardization software. First, in R1 print standardizer, you access to the color library by going into admin mode and clicking on color library button. Just as a reminder, our color library allows you to communicate easily color information across different pr applications and different printing processes. You can see that our one color library uh, shows you two kinds of color. The first one, which is called master color. Uh, they are defined by LAB value, density optionally, and spectral data. And the second one, called device color build which are only defined by process value. So you will ask me why would you need device color build? The first case is, for example, if your client asks you to print Pantone 314, let's say this one, but your printing device is only CMYK. You will need to create the related device color build defined by CMYK value related to this Pantone. To do so, just select the master color Pantone 314, click on plus button in device color build section, and you will see that automatically this will be renamed device Pantone 314. You just have to select a profile related to your printing process. Let's say that you are in offset coated paper in this case, ISO-coated V2 profile is perfect. And the color library will automatically define cyan, magenta, yellow and black related to this master color with this process profile. You have an indication of the delta E between this device color and the reference master color. And you have also the possibility to change this CMYK value. For example, 5 here would be more convenient, 20 and 20. You can see that LAB value has been automatically updated and also the delta E. If it suits you, you just have to save it and the device color is recorded. The second um, situation you can have to use device color build if your customer gave you your brand color as device value. For example, you will say I have a Procter & Gamble blue defined only in cyan and yellow. In this case, you don't need to select a master color, just need to create a device color build. Automatically name new device color bit, but you can rename it. Let's say blue PNG device color build. Select a profile. It can be also i5 profile. or CMYK profile and define the expected values. Say 0, 20 and 0. A label value associated to this cyan, magenta, yellow and black value is given here. Just need to save it and you can see that the device color build related to no master ink has been recorded. Thank you. It was for the presentation of device color builds creation with R1 Print Standardizer Color Library. For more information, please contact us at info at l1color.com.